Yeah, we've just had uh, an interesting bulletin and uh, on it Tim talks about recording over your PowerPoints in PowerPoint and he reckons it does a, a better job because it is clearer and sharper which for us might be good. And I'm actually using a, a different bit of software altogether than it called Flashback Express. It's free of charge, brilliant. Uh, it allows me to record both screens. It gives me a cursor, as you can see, which has a kind of a yellow um, circle around it, which is quite good for pointing things out. Um, but he does say, if you haven't got all that, if you just want to do a digital recording over a PowerPoint and keep it clear, uh, this is how he suggests that you do it. But there's something else that we can add to that that makes it even better. So if you watch carefully now, let's see if it works. So I'm in PowerPoint here, on a big left-hand screen. And he suggests you go, uh, each one of these at the top here opens up a different uh, tab. You want to go to Slideshow tab, and then Record Slideshow from the beginning, or from whichever slide you want to go for, okay? So from the beginning. And then I'm going to go to my right-hand screen over here. Uh, this is just the recording tab that I'm using, so I'm going to push that out of the way. And when you're into here, you've now got the PowerPoint that you want to talk about, and you want to start, well, let's just have a look at it first of all. You've got the fact that I'm in it. So as you make a recording, you can either use your um, uh, laptop one, or you can use your, uh, uh, your plug-in uh, webcam. You have a left and right, so I can go through the slides through here now, etc., etc. And you've also got at the bottom of the screen these colours, and you've got a line, you've got a rubber, and you've got a highlighter. And so the best thing about this for us is that you can actually start to pick a, a line, pick a colour. I'm going to go for, I don't know, a... Purple. And I can now say, okay, so this is Georgia, this is a cracking bit of painting, but I've got a bit of an issue with um, this part here. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to make sure I press record, so I'm just going to get a rubber for a minute. I click on that, and it's gone. And this time I'm going to click on the record button. It counts down, three, two, one, gives you a second or two to get ready. And now here I go again. So I get this time a highlighter, and I'm saying, hey, Georgia, this is great, but uh, I kind of worry that maybe this area of the picture here is requiring some more shading. Okay, uh, I get a rubber and I get rid of it. I then get to a pen and I get a different colour. I say, however, this section through here is really good and that's been very 3D and this, this area around the lips is very good. Get myself a very transparent colour now, like a blue, and I get a highlighter. And I can now still, I'm still black. I go into here and I can start to kind of have this kind of conversation with them through the visual. And all the time I can get rid of all these just by clicking with the rubber back on there, or I can just go on to the next slide by clicking over here. Okay, so uh, it's a useful bit of technology. I think it, uh, if you're not using some of your own, like I said, I've, I've got my own software built in now, which is called Flashback Express. It's recommended uh, online, and it is really good. It's free of charge. What I like about it is the kind of person I've got here. But uh, this uh, simple system using just straightforward PowerPoint also seems to be doing a good job. When you've finished it, you can click on replay and it will play back to you what you've just done so you can check it. And once you've done that, it simply saves it inside your PowerPoint files or you can save it wherever you like and then just upload it. So you upload it to one to the eStream uh, in the usual way or you can send it directly to the kids. Alright? I hope that's good. I hope it works for you. Best of luck.